Hi there, my name is Anne and in this video I'm going to design my own avatar because right now I only have a picture of my name and I want something different. I want an actual drawing as my profile picture. I saw this video of Bailey J where she did the Tune Me challenge on pictures of her subscribers and from there I got the idea to trace a picture of me and use that as a line art. And honestly, that wasn't such a good idea of me. I wanted a more cartooned version of myself, not an actual picture of myself. And I knew that from the beginning, that's why I drew my eyes in a more cartoony style and not what they actually look like. So after I've done the original tracing and colored it in, I looked at it and realized I didn't really like it. What I should have done is treated the tracing as a sketch layer and added another layer on top of it, trying to make it more of a cartoon version of me. So that's what I did. <laughs> I fiddled with the step a lot because I did it again and I didn't really like it so I kept changing it a lot until I was decently happy with it and had my basic colors and then I was fine with it. <laughs> when I was finally done with that I added in some more details such as hairs in the eyebrows and little lines in the irises so that they looked more lively. Then for making the picture a little bit less flat, I added shadows. For this, I made a group layer for my skin tone, added another layer on top of my basic colors. And I also locked that top layer so that all my strokes wouldn't go beyond my basic colors. I picked the shade a little bit darker than my skin tone, drew lines where I thought shadows should be, and blurred those out. And then I had my basic shadows. For my lips, I decided that I didn't really like the look of the lower line on it after I colored it in for the first time, so I deleted that line and just had color for the lips. I added a little highlight on them so they wouldn't be so flat. Then on my lower part of my skin tone, so where my neck is, I gave my skin some more shadows where my hair fell on top of it so that it actually looked like my hair was on top of it and then I did the same thing for my sweater and my t-shirt then came the hair I did the same thing for layering and added basic shadows where I thought they should be I also wanted highlights in my hair and I made the mistake of using white in the beginning but that just looked wrong don't use white just don't <laughs> So I picked my original hair color again and used a color that was a few shades lighter than the original and highlighted it with that. After that, it were the final details. I added some blushies and a background. I wanted to keep some elements from my original header, so I picked the colors from the previous profile picture and made a gradient of it so that it was a little bit darker at the bottom and a little lighter at the top. And then I did the same dots where I had little dots and bigger dots in white and then a darker blue color. And 
I thought, yay, I'm done. And then I looked at the picture after I exported it. And oh god, just how many times I've changed my nose in this is insane. I looked at it, I thought I was finished, and I realized, nope, nope, I've got to change it. It doesn't look right. It doesn't look good. I have to change it. <laughs> so I made it a little bit smaller, like not smaller, but flatter. Because every single time I looked at the nose, I thought, that just looks like a big nose and I don't want a big nose. So after I made that change and realized that I left a highlight in there somewhere that wasn't blended, I exported it again. And here we have my final picture. So here you have it, my first ever avatar. I really like it. Is it perfect? No, absolutely not. <laughs> but that doesn't really matter. I like it, it's good enough for me. To be like okay this will work <laughs> this was my first try at making an avatar i learned a lot from it and i'm gonna keep trying to be better at it so if you saw this video i hope this was helpful but if you saw something like why did you do that then please let me know i, I still want to learn this is i <laughs> i think this is like my second drawing in digital so yeah that says a lot <laughs> If you have any tips for me on how to be better, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and hopefully I will see you the next time. Bye!